Hello my dear family members I hope all of you are preparing well for the upcoming Delta tax exam as I have got information from you guys that they are asking very tough questions but very honestly if you are preparing very well for technical MCQ then you can grab the opportunity why because they will ask you total 50 MCQ questions from uh, computer fundamentals and they will ask you three to five coding questions and if you perform in the MCQ very well and if you perform let's let's say uh, average to moderate level of performance you have done then also there is a possibility to get interview chances okay so please be prepared for the mcq part so that you can get a better opportunity in Dell tax okay so i hope you understood so let me share the Dell tax real questions which was asked recently so that you will get the job very smoothly so let me share the first question but before that guys if you have not subscribed this channel yet then please do subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and let me know if you need any help okay so let me share the first question that is this what is the time complexity of the following function uh as you can see this function containing array sorry uh, array and target these are the two values uh, as argument they have used and one for loop is used and it is going up to zero to the length of that array okay and it is checking one thing constantly one thing that is if array i is equal to is equal to the target value or not okay so if they are targeting just after seeing these three equal what comes in your mind that is this program is uh written in javascript okay so that's one question arises in my mind that is what is the difference between double equal and triple equal so please give the answer in the comment section this is a very good uh interview question so please give the answer in the comment section but uh, before that let me just answer for this question that is it is checking constantly if array i is equal to is equal to is equal to target value or not so as they are constantly checking this so it is taking big o of n time okay and if it is found then it will return the array i element so i hope you understood why it is taking big o of n value okay so correct answer will be the last one big o of n so if there there were two for loop for like same way then it would have taken big o of n square for time time okay so i hope you answered so let me just show the next question that is this uh gives the output of the code below so this is the code given int x is equal to 10 float y is equal to 10.0 if x is equal to is equal to y then print this and if not then print these are not equal so please pause the video and try to give the answer in the comment section and okay i hope you have paused so let me give you the answer so this is written in c right so what happens in c when we write int x is equal to z 10 and float y is equal to 10.0 the program implicitly implicitly the value of x will be equal to 10.0 automatically okay and then float y is equal to 10.0 so it will return uh actually it will return true if x is equal to, equal to y yes it is true in c but some in other language it is not equal int x is equal to 10 and float x is equal to sorry y is equal to 10.0 so they are not equal okay so in some other uh, programming languages so that's why this is a tricky questions still if uh, i hope you are you understood so this is the correct answer okay x and y are equal okay so let me go to the next question that is uh this one what is the output of the code given below assume that main function returns zero okay so index is equal to zero if x plus plus greater than zero then printf true if not then else printf false so guys this is also a tricky question but still these are the real questions if you are preparing for these then you are getting uh like you you are going to get a very good number in your exam okay so let me give you the answer but before that guys i want you to have the prime materials of delta x in which will get all the recent questions with answers previous year questions recent questions uh, and also free mock tests are available interview experiences as you can see these are uh, like liked by thousand plus students and they are giving five stars to us okay these are five stars uh, like we are getting from the students and also 
we are like 0.1 percent top performer in uh, top mint and also you can see the feedback of students are given at the below okay so i hope you will consider it okay please do consider it and get everything inside this material okay so uh what is the answer for this so let me give that okay so x is equal to zero here we are comparing the value of x that is zero and zero right now if it is zero plus plus then it will become one so one is greater than zero one is greater than zero yes so you should return true right but there is a catch why because here the flow of program comes at x okay this is the operator and this is operand okay when the flow of program comes at operand first it will get that value okay it will get that value not the x plus plus okay it will take x value only that is zero okay zero only zero it is taking okay the program is taking only zero now it is comparing so it will be increased by one it will be increased by one it's okay but the comparison will be happened with the zero value the x value okay the first x value zero and zero okay so as this is not equal so it will return false okay that means it will print f print false i hope you understood why it is a uh, false because the flow of program comes at operand x it instantly get that value and not increased okay that time after that it increased but it will compare the value of x only okay not the increased value i hope you understood so let me go to the next question that is this which of the following is not a type of inheritance multiple multilevel distributive and hierarchical as of now we know there are total four types of inheritance available single inheritance multi-level hierarchical and multiple inheritance in case of single inheritance one class will extend the properties of another class and in case of multi-level uh, there are multiple class multiple class will extend the property of another class this way right so class c is extending the property of class b class b is pro uh, extending the property of class a this way right this is multi-level inheritance in case of hierarchical inheritance multiple classes like class b class c both are extending one single classes uh, properties right so it is class b and class c extending the class a's properties okay this is a hierarchical inheritance in case of multiple inheritance one class will extend from two or three or more than that uh, classes properties like here class c is extending the property of class a also for class from class b this happens uh, like a child like one child is extending the property of, of father and mother okay so this is multiple inheritance so there are total four types of inheritance available now in the question they have provided one wrong option that is distributive inheritance so this is the wrong answer okay i hope you understood so let me go to the next question that is this if a relation is in bcnf it is also in 1nf 2nf 3nf or all of the above so i hope you pause the video and try to give the answer okay so guys as you can see what questions they are asking that is they are asking from uh, C++, uh, C, then Java based uh, pseudocode questions, then uh, DBMS, okay, then they are asking operating systems, then every computer fundamentals questions, right. So please go through these, I hope this will be very much helpful for you, okay. And also they are asking JavaScript questions, HTML CSS questions as well, okay. Okay, if a relation is in BCNF, it is also in what? So in case of 2NF, it is like 2nf meets the uh, characteristics of 1nf okay it removes partial dependent dependencies right and for 3nf it meets the characteristics of 2nf and also uh, it removes the transitive dependent de dependencies right and bcnf is the advanced version of 3nf a uh, voice code normal form is advanced advancement of 3nf and it contains everyone's character right 
everyone's character so that's why the correct answer will be all of the above okay so i hope you understood so let me go to the next question that is this the average depth of a binary search tree is what guys so without uh, going to d let me give you the answer that is big of login in case of uh, binary search what we see that is let's say uh 2 4 6 8 10 12 okay so if this is the array what we uh, we have seen in binary search that is let's say we are finding for 8 okay so it will at first uh find the mid value okay it will at first find the mid value if uh if the target value is equal to equal to the mid value or not okay if not if not then it will check the left uh, and also it will check if the target value is lesser than the mid value or greater than the mid value according to that it will check that for the first half or the second half right so this way it will keep checking so in that case also big of log n we uh, we have seen that time complexity but here in the same way it will take uh, the average depth of binary search will be big of log n okay so i hope you understood let me go to the next question that is this with sql how can you insert a new record into the person's table i am going to give you one uh, quick question for you just wait and watch till end okay so in this case insert values jimmy jackson into persons is this correct answer no right this is not a correct syntax for inserting a value in, in, into a table right insert jimmy jackson into persons this is also a wrong approach but here it is correct okay insert into persons values these okay why it is correct because uh, the correct syntax of inserting a value is like insert this is a keyword into this is also a keyword then that uh, table name then the table name then the keyword values you have to use and then enter the values okay so this is the correct syntax you have to use for inserting any value inside the any table okay so i hope you understood let me go to the next question guys again i'm requesting you to please do subscribe this channel and if you want then have the prime materials of any company that you want like tcs pwc hcl dell text zoho and mahindra rise vartusha infosys then goldman sachs deloitte lk mindry wipro capgemini cognizant tcs uh, tech mahindra accenture also they have started their hiring right like uh, accenture tcs cognizant uh, capgemini then wipro they have delta x they have started their hiring so please go through these questions it will be very much helpful for your upcoming drives right so the link will be given in the description box please go through that and get the opportunity okay so let me just um okay so let me show the question that is this which of the following can be used to get the remainder when an integer a is divided by integer b so guys this is a very easy question please give the answer in the comment section i love your comment okay so this is a quick question guys if you want uh, me to solve anything then please uh, give me the question in our chat box in uh, telegram t.me slash bikanna or you can give the question at our inbox at instagram i'll try to upload the same at our next video okay and if you are giving the right answer for this question i'll show your name in the next video so please grab this opportunity as well thank you for today's session